Far away beyond skies, asteroids, and dust, the silver lining flew between the nebulae. On the front deck at the commands was Captain Tux, who carried passengers across the galaxy. While the crew, hard at work, assisted their captain, all of the travelers enjoyed comfort, peace, and leisure. But forbidden to all was the cramped engine room, its critical systems of metal and fire. eBPF originates from Linux, an operating system that runs on billions of devices around the world and is divided into user space, where most applications run, and kernel space, which provides an interface for applications to interact with the underlying hardware. The kernel has visibility across the entire system and is highly performant, but needs to provide a stable interface to applications so it lacks the flexibility of user space programming. Flying for years across the galaxy and back, the crew learned to modify their ship and adjust. They changed the thrusters, the force shields, the hyperstack to explore most exotic worlds and beyond. But it's tough and discouraging to upgrade systems in the vacuum of space or on an aquatic moon. Captain Tux needed a fast way to replace items, adapt quickly to meet demand and make business boom. Because Linux is such a large and important project, updates to the kernel can take years to reach end users running stable long-term releases in production. It's possible to extend the kernel's functionality by writing and loading kernel module, but it comes with its own risks that they might crash or otherwise harm the kernel. If modules are not contributed upstream, they also need constant adjustments to adapt to the evolution of the kernel. One day, a concerned Captain Tux reviewed the crew and remembered that bees had long been aboard, working quietly, even if their chores were few. Captain Tux had a flash. They'd no longer get bored. You are small enough, he said to the spokes bee, to fly straight to the engine room and work from the inside. Would you like to assist? Of course, answered E.B. We wish to help, to innovate, and we're on your side. EBPF comes from the original Berkeley packet filter used in TCP dump, but now extends way beyond just networking, enabling users to programmatically extend almost any functionality of the operating system. EBPF is an event-driven architecture that runs specific programs when the kernel or an application passes a certain hook point. For example, kernel probes or user probes can be added to attach eBPF tracing programs almost anywhere in the kernel or user space applications. eBPF is a strictly typed assembly language with a stable instruction set. eBPF programs can be loaded and upgraded in real time without the need to restart the kernel. Bees of various talents took many roles in the hive. They were scientists, teachers, switchboard operators, electricians, explorers, and even a detective. They suited up and passed the airlock to the motors. The engines were smoky and some bees were afraid to damage the engine or just to block a cog. Fear not, said Captain Tux, I will come to your aid. He trained them and made sure they could see through the smog. The Linux kernel expects eBPF programs to be loaded in the form of byte code. Typically, eBPF developers write programs in C, Rust, or other languages which are then compiled into eBPF bytecode. eBPF programs can be loaded into the Linux kernel using the BPF system call directly or through one of the available eBPF libraries. The verifier runs in a privileged context and performs standard analysis to ensure that eBPF programs are safe for the kernel or sometimes the hardware to run. It checks that the processes loading the eBPF program hold the required capabilities or privileges, the program does not crash the system or leak sensitive memory, and that the program always runs to completion, will not sit in a loop forever, holding up further processing. Captain Tuck soon heard of possible improvement options. EB's fellows were zealous bees, aiming for speed. We'd go faster for sure, with buzz code instructions. This would be much simpler for us to parse and read. With his laser screwdriver and a bit of copper, Captain Tux built a sturdy translator droid, and the buzzing bees worked swifter than ever. They organized as teams, and EB took the lead. The just-in-time compilation step translate the generic bytecode of the program into the machine-specific instruction set to optimize execution speed. 
This makes eBPF programs run as efficiently as natively compiled kernel code or as code loaded as a kernel module. Linux support JIT compilation towards all widespread architectures. Acquiring a new taste for engine room hacking, the bees developed their activities more and more. In the narrow spaces, they began creating a real workshop with shelves, tools, and gathered lore. The shelves were great to store all sorts of material so that one bee could pass their products to the next. The tools would help reuse the engine's internals to unlock and harness the silver lining's powers. Users can leverage the following objects or mechanisms when programming with eBPF. Share collected information, retrieve configuration options, and store state through eBPF maps to save and retrieve data in a wide set of data structures. These maps can be accessed from eBPF programs as well as from applications in user space. eBPF programs can make function calls into a set of dedicated kernel functions, eBPF helpers or kfuncs, to help them accomplish some specific tasks. For more flexibility, eBPF programs are also composable with the concept of tail and function calls. Various mechanisms allow eBPF programs to contain loops while ensuring the programs always terminate. The bees set up and equipped could change pieces in flight directly from the inside with no halt required. No more dangerous stops on hostile satellites. For the first time, the crew could enjoy peace of mind. Once they had completed all pending upgrades and then some, the bees looked back at the fruits of their labor. Let's do more. Captain Tux is not the only one who is in need of help. Let's meet the passengers. The Silver Linings passengers had long been complaining. They couldn't send messages in their own encoding. When the bees jumped on the case, it marked the beginning of a whole new era for data sharing and messaging. Mail was still slow to go through the ship's processors, but the electrician bee had a great idea. And so the swarm replaced legacy receivers. They installed and rewired a boosted antenna. eBPF enhances networking by enabling efficient packet processing and filtering in the kernel, decoupled from hardware-specific details while integrating seamlessly with the networking stack. This enhances network performance and flexibility, making it ready for the cloud-native world. Projects using eBPF for networking include Cilium and Kotran. So many messages. At times, some would get lost, or the engine would struggle under the pressure. So the detective bee added gauges and sensors to measure and observe and keep things in order. The busy engine room was the ideal place to monitor all things happening on this ship. And the bees optimized process after process, all the things they could to improve every trip. By running in the kernel, eBPF enables broad system observability. Collection and in-kernel aggregation of metric allows flexible and efficient generation of observability events and data structures from a wide range of possible sources without having to export samples. Attaching eBPF programs to trace points, as well as kernel and user application probe points, gives powerful introspective abilities for the kernel and user space applications and useful insights to troubleshoot system performance problems. Projects such as BCC, BPF Trace, Hubble, Parka, and Pyroscope use eBPF for tracing and monitoring purposes. The team flew and traveled, becoming so prosperous that the news spread around, even faster than light, making dark and terrible entities jealous. Hold on tight, the silver lining was under attack. But with foresight, the bees luckily had tinkered with micro adjusting laser beams for the craft and the defense systems were so accurate that confounded darkness was repelled in a blast. eBPF can be used in conjunction with Linux security modules to allow runtime instrumentation of the LSM hooks. eBPF combines seeing and understanding all system calls with a packet and socket level view of all networking. This creates security systems operating with richer context and a better level of control than traditional solutions. Projects using eBPF for security include Falco, Tetragon, and Tracy. Alas, during the fight, a thruster was damaged. Once at the space garage, Captain Tux found spare pieces, but they lacked instructions and the model had changed. 
How would the bees make them fit into the engines? And then what about the Quantic guided students? The new versions had completely different shape. EB's friends couldn't fly between the narrow bits. Had the engine hacking adventures met its fate? Not a chance, said EB. Captain, I've got a plan. And they worked all night to build a new scanner to map all of the areas and paths in the engine room so the bees were able to fly again, even faster. Kernel types and data structures are in a constant flux. eBPF compile once run everywhere leverages BPF type format to make programs portable across kernel versions, especially if they rely on data structures internal to the system. Before the ship flew off, intrigued by the rumors, several creatures came to meet the spokes bee. They wondered if the bees would like to join their efforts and collaborate on crafts, speedsters, and fairies. Evie was delighted and agreed that the hive would split, some bees going to new ships and new teams, and the word spread further of transports that would thrive, with bees under the hood making them go full steam. EBPF now has a variety of libraries written in Golang, Rust, C++, and others that help loading, compiling, and debugging EBPF programs in both user and kernel space. EBPF is at the heart of many projects. See the full landscape at ebpf.io. As fame grew and bees spread, they felt the desire to keep contact and share news, knowledge, tips, and tricks to better tell around how their skills were for hire. And the United Bees formed the Hive Alliance. Under this new banner, bees now help innovate teams on various vessels, keeping them fast and sound. Far away beyond skies, asteroids, and dust, when he thinks of the bees, Captain Tux is so proud. After years of proven production experience, eBPF has been adapted for Windows and other privileged execution contexts. The eBPF Foundation now brings together a cross-platform community of eBPF-related projects. Part of the foundation, the BPF Steering Committee is responsible for the technical direction and overall vision of eBPF. And as of 2023, there is work in progress with the IETF for standardizing eBPF.